A group of scientists from the Ministry of Health, Makerere University, Busitema University, Mbarara University, Kampala International University, Soroti University, Uganda Virus Research Institute, and the Joint Clinical Research Center, among others, could soon make a breakthrough in finding a vaccine and drugs to treat COVID-19 and other epidemics. The experts under the Presidential Scientific Initiative on Epidemics have embarked on 23 major innovations and research projects which they expect to help in finding a solution to COVID-19. Dr. Grace Nambatia, the Director of Research at the Nacho Chemotherapic Research Institute, has been tasked with carrying out research on bee products like bee propolises, bee venom, and the local herb wambugia, and how useful they can be in treating COVID-19. So currently we're looking at bee products. Yes, yeah, so our focus in this project is to come out with safe and effective bee products um, that can help to fight COVID. Though we also have, um, we're also looking at wabugia, Ugandensis. What is that? This is a trick commonly called mukuza nume. This plant you can have right from uh, antiviral um, therapeutic components. You can have antibacteria, antifungal, anti-malaria, and it's a tree indigenous to East Africa. Another expert, Professor Johnny Rubega, will be carrying out research on mushrooms and wool from the sheep to find vitamin D which is vital in treating viral diseases. Vitamin D, we can extract it from plants. For example, mushrooms. There is a specific type of mushroom that has got too much D in it. We can extract it. And there are certain chemicals called lanolin, because lanolin is extracted from the wool of the sheep. And uh, we don't have many sheep in Uganda. So we're going to import them multiply the ship and then we'll be in future able to manufacture lanolin here and then lanolin is the one we use to extract vitamin D. Local bananas species commonly known as matoke will be researched on to be used as ingredients in pharmaceutical products of treating COVID-19. Matoke itself it has a number of medical values, medicinal values and if you take it yourself, you find that that's why you don't have constipation because of the properties of that starch. So the starch properties for Matoke is very good for medical, for pharmaceutical industries. That is why it is surfacing that once the drugs for COVID have been identified, then Matoke starch will be incorporated so that those drugs can be made available to the people. Ritema University Natural Products and Drug Discovery Research Group based at the Department of Pharmacology is undertaking a project to develop a herbal formulation for COVID-19. All these efforts, among others, geared towards finding vaccines are being spearheaded by the Presidential Advisor on Epidemics, Dr. Monica Musenero. However, some things we are going to use uh, local products. There are some, especially the medicines, some we are getting from plants that are available and we are putting them together into medicines. We are going to test them scientifically so that we know that uh, if you have COVID, we give you these many tablets. The Prime Minister, Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda, commissioned the research projects in Kampala. I understand that of the 79 concepts arising out of the idea this is submitted by scientists. We have managed to fund 23 uh, projects under this first round. The government has so far earmarked 31 billion Uganda shillings towards the Presidential Scientific Initiative on Epidemics. Jingo Francis, NTV. Thank you.